a little introduction. <laughs> okay, this uh, episode is called Lisa to the Rescue. <laughs> Honestly, I just saw on Reed's Instagram that she was about to tint her eyebrows herself. I was like, stop. <laughs> Let me help you. I'm trained. I'm trained in this. Oh, my God. So, literally. And we have actually vaguely spoken about this, but I just kind of got overexcited and made an order. And I've got this. I've also got a lamination kit, which is actually a, la a lash lift. But um, I'm going to worry about that another day. I think, like, one step at a time. One step at a time. Also, can I just say, right, I'm feeling quite tense about this because you've got some of the best brows in the game, Ree. We can't mess these up. I just want to make sure. Can you see my, like, white ones? Kind of. Yeah, kind right. of. So they're the, they're the target. <laughs> okay. So I think the key is, is that if any of you are watching this and you haven't tinted your eyebrows before, don't do it. <laughs> It's so close to your eyes that if you make a mistake or if you're allergic to the dye, it's just not worth it. Now, Reese had her brows dyed a million times. So this is why I was like, please just, just let me come on and, and show you how to do it. But yeah, don't bother. Just leave it. Just don't. Yeah. I mean, I've never done it myself. But um, you know what happened? I watched um, CC Clark. Yeah. And she tinted her brows and then laminated them all in one go. And I just swiped up. I'm literally, I just can't bear these white ones. That they're, they're there. And you know what happened before? I pulled out the white ones and messed up the shape of the brow because they were an integral p p team player. Do you know what I mean? Again, so they're they're just, back anyway. I've let them grow back. So the most important thing you need to do is patch test, which we did, uh, what, 20 back, 24 hours ago? Yeah. So behind the ear is really important. So just do a little patch test so you make sure you're not allergic because even though... Um, you know, you're not dyeing your hair in your head, you're still dyeing hair and you might be allergic and no one wants their face swelling up. Yeah, exactly. And even if you have used dye before, because I always do a little, because I dye my he he head, head hair at home. Yeah. And I always do a little patch test as well. Just so yeah, you only need a tiny changes. bit of product. Yeah. You just take like a little dot of it on the back of a hair clip or something on the back and then just leave it and you'll soon know if you're allergic. And if it's yeah. the thing, wash it off. Dark brown I went for, which... Yeah. And in the, fine, basically fine. in the kit, I've got the dye, the cream colour, yeah. then the, that says activator on it. So yeah. I'm holding a fluffy bit. Um, and yeah. then it, the, it came with a little spoolie, but I've got this one. So okay, what cool. you want to do is follow the instructions. So how many, what's it say in terms of quantity? How much activator? Oh, get your glasses on, girl. There she is. Oh dear, right, okay, um, let's find the, uh, right, instructions for use. Cleanse your eyebrow with a non-oily cleanser to remove makeup and natural oils. Um, I just put uh, skincare on, does that matter? Um, if you put it on top of your brows, just use a cleanser to take away because any moisturiser will have any oil in it, which means that the dye won't take. So we'll do right. that in a sec. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it says, da -da -da -da, pierce cream colour dye, squeeze what, two centimetres of dye colour onto your mixing dish and then yeah. replace the lid. Open activated solution away from the face, add five drops. Yeah, fine. And then you need to mix it together. Now, I would actually, that bowl that you're using, it will stain it. So you might want to use the plastic one unless you don't care about that stain. Oh, okay, it. right. I'll, I'll use the plastic one. Yeah, but let's just take off anything on your brows to start with. So just get a little bit of, you know, like a micellar water or something. Yep, just hanging on. What have I got? And you just need a little bit. So obviously, like I say, guys, if you've got any type of oil in your brow, apart from your natural oil, it is going to prevent the dye from dyeing. And if you've then got too much moisturiser in one section, it can actually make it a bit patchy, particularly if you're blonde. So just make sure that you've cleansed your brows. And then with the other bit of the tissue, just dry, dry the brow off as well. So it's not Oh my wet. God, look. I did actually have like BB cream in my eyebrow. Yeah, no. That's how I'm. Um, you don't have your white hair, Ree. Really. It's just some makeup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, um, you know how precise I am with stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, just, <laughs> Another just reason why I was like, let me help. <laughs> yeah. So do you think that's okay? I've got. Yeah, that's fine. Right. That's fine. Okay. So then take your little tray or the dish, take the lid off and put about two centimetres worth, so draw like a line of the dye into the bowl. I, I don't know about a measurement, so you can... It doesn't matter too much how much, but you know, just not too much. 
Yep, perfect. Then do five drops of the um, activator. So what that does is that means that it obviously activates the dye to actually hold onto the hair. Five drops. Yep. So just oh. tap it. Oh, okay. That'll be enough. <laughs> oh, I can see why you were worried about this. Oh, dear. that'll be fine. Okay. So then take your, um, so you have to mix it together. It's weird. It hasn't given you a brush. Shall I mix it? Shall I just use a brush? I've got other brushes. <laughs> Yeah, just use like a brush that you don't mind, you know, maybe staining. Or you really need to clean it because you don't want to put this near your eye. Use so a brush. I've got another one of these. Is that any good? A wing liner one? Yeah, okay, fine. Mix it together. That's it. So it kind of goes a little bit watery, but not yeah. too much. Right. I would actually use that brush to apply it as well. Now, okay. it... I just think that obviously they've got the spoolie. So the way that they're probably recommending doing it is that you dip the spoolie in and brush it through the brow. Now, the thing is, if you've got really thin brows, that's not really precise. And if you've got really thick brows like Rhi, it's quite hard to see how much you're putting on with a spoolie and making sure you're getting it even. Oh, does that look okay to much. you? Yeah, that looks fine. Right. So have you got any Vaseline by any chance? No. Okay, you've got to be really careful. So guys, what I'd recommend is putting Vaseline on the skin around the brows. Then that stops it from dyeing the skin if you um, get any dye on it. I've got a lip balm. Yeah, okay, fine. Anything like a lip balm that's going to act like a barrier. Sorry, I should have told you to get this before, but that is a really good tip. What kind of, hold on, what kind this of lip is, balm is that? This is um, Marc Jacobs lip oil. That'll do, wouldn't it? Mm. I mean, sure, sure. Just don't get it in the brow. Yeah, that's it. So just around. It's just a re I think it's really important to do this because otherwise, if you get dye on, it can dye the skin. Yeah, I mean, lip balm on the eye. Why not? We've all done it. <laughs> above? Do we do it above as well? Yeah, above and in the middle. So not on the hair, just everywhere around. Didn't, that's good. Actually, that's really precise that applicator as well, isn't it? So yeah, and a bit in the middle just in case. <laughs> That's it. Okay, so now you've done that, take yep. your brush that you've already mixed the dye with, yep. come close to the camera, and you're just going to, I'm going to get a brush to pretend to do it as well, you're just going to draw backwards, and I like to go quite backwards and forwards through the brow so that you're coating it from root to tip. Now don't put too much at the front, Ree. in fact I wouldn't even start at the front, I would start about a little bit inwards. Because if you put too much product at the front, it can make your brow look stuck on. So keep, yeah, that's it. Just go backwards and forwards. So you're coating it from root to tip. That's it. And then dip a bit more in and do the ends. I'm actually a bit scared now. Why? Don't I worry. don't know. I, I mean, I, imagine how scared I'd be if you weren't there. I mean, have you got wet cotton wool to take it off with? No, I've got <laughs> Carry on. Okay. How, um, yeah, so do that. Now, I would usually, on you, because you've got dark brows, we'll have a look what the instructions say, but do the other brow first when you've done that. You want to do a little bit at the front as well, obviously, just not too much, because the front tends to be a little bit more gappy. I feel like I've got too much activator in this. It's not very dye -y. Well, that's fine. Let's just see how it goes, because then we can always add, do it again. You can always repeat once. Right, okay. Okay. That's it. Then do the other side. Right. You'll be surprised, like, actually how much the dye picks up. Okay, cool. It always looks like a strange colour. Now, with a tint that I would use, I usually leave it on between one and three minutes. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what this What's... is. Let me, um, I'll have a quick read in a minute. I'm just trying to get that bugger. Get him. Oh. Get that little white one. White hair is really hard to dye, so you do need to put a bit more on than you think and make sure you've done an even amount on the front that's it it looks good does it from here it looks good that's I'm quite it. patchy there you see yeah but you like like that don't you you don't want it to be too perfect drawn in there no that's it right I want you to quickly just read how long it says to keep it okay. on for we should have done that beforehand but we didn't, so we're doing it now. No, I'm keeping an eye on the time, so it's it's now. I'm put, oh I've put God. a timer on. I've put and a timer on. my glasses like a magnifying glass. 
<laughs> Only you. I've lost English. Um, here we go. No, that's German. Right. Uh, <laughs> five to ten minutes. That's because it won't be as strong. Um, you're so supposed that's to keep, okay. keep your eye closed. Well, you know, how are you supposed to see? No. <laughs> I mean, honestly, right, okay, so I've got a timer on, so what you've got time to do now is go and get some cotton wool, cotton wool. and put some water, soak them in water and squeeze it. Right, okay. So go and get about four pads of cotton wool like that and then a couple of dry ones Okay, as well. that won't take I'll you very long. sit here and, and sing a song yeah. and I'm timing <laughs> yeah. it. I love thy brows, I love a good brow, you well brows, your brows from your face, if they're... Not look, they can look like mine, which is a disgrace. I love an eyebrow, yes I do. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I've got two, you should have two, not one. But if you're growing one, just leave it for now. Um. Anyway, I will say that if you're looking at tweezing your brows, which you're not going to be doing for you today, I have done an Instagram TV video on how to tweeze your brows. Um. So go and watch that but we're going to be showing you how to trim them with re look at this like little magic ones hmm. but you got the cotton wool yeah i've got the cotton wool okay so let's wait we've got another four minutes the days are flying by lisa oh my god isn't it going so quick mm -hmm. that means they always take the dogs for a walk at about 11 at 11 30 and then we're like it's lunchtime when we get back and half the day's gone i know i know it's especially crazy. if you get a little lay in before you know it that's it i know so more product in this side than that side here look go on then just add a bit more make it as even the brush is definitely easier than using that spoolie yeah yeah god yeah i would that would be a disaster i know i mean how can people i can I really it's understand getting darker yeah so it's been on for two minutes now so i reckon like we leave it for like six minutes in, in total but okay, so we've kept this on for six minutes. It's looking yes. good, you know. It, it's it's darker, definitely. And I, I can't see those little fucking greys now. Yeah, good. So right. you want to take off the brow that you did first, which was your left. That one? Yep. Yeah. So just How take the wet cotton wool. Yeah. Yeah, go firstly just go one way so it takes off the majority of it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, and now kind of go backwards and forwards with the yeah just to get all of the dye off. Do the same with the other one and then we'll go over it again. Okay. But obviously a clean bit. Looks really good actually. Ooh! Quite and excited. Right. Yeah, the backs and forwards. And then take um, a couple of, a clean bit again. Take two clean bits and just hold them on your brows. Yeah, just hold it on and just kind of go backwards and forwards a little bit. Just to kind of, Show them to the camera. Do they have any t more tin, tin on them? A little bit. Yeah. So you just need to do that a couple of times. Because the problem is if you don't get it all off, then obviously it's just going to keep developing and then you'll end up with like a really dark patch. I just had a little funny, funny moment. I was like, I can't believe you're doing this for me. It's amazing. Thank you. Well, because, you shut up. <laughs> no, because you're the first person that ever tinted my brows, ever. Oh, am I? Yeah. Years ago. Yeah. Oh. There you go. That's probably why you were like, fuck, we need to... Make sure. <laughs> like, do, do not let her do this alone. Does it look good? It looks really good from here, but obviously you're close. Yeah. I've got, actually, one of my white ones is there. Do you want to just go over a little bit more tint and leave it on for two minutes? Shall I? You can do. I mean, it's actually quite low down. What do you think? Maybe I don't I need it. I can't see it, but I'm obviously on the phone, so it's a bit harder. Maybe I'll just a tiny bit. Sometimes because the white hair is so much coarser, yeah. it doesn't dye as easily. I actually feel like I didn't catch it. Oh, okay, yeah, that'll probably be it. <laughs> that'll do it. Yeah, because... So, can I, I just tell you a really funny story? So, Lauren, who used to work with me at Benefit, she yeah. still works there now, one of my very good friends, so, <laughs> she's going to kill me. When we used to work in store back in the day, like I'm talking 10 years ago, we used to like be in the shop for clothes. She has quite a hairy face, you know, like obviously some people can have quite a... <laughs> we used to like tint her whole moustache, like do a goatee oh. and then tint it. Oh and my take God. It, 
Yeah, so she'd have like a tinted goatee, just like that, and then we'd wax it off, and it was so <laughs> funny. <laughs> and so that is like, literally the best thing ever. <laughs> and she'd just be like, oh, what should I do today? It was just hilarious. It was so funny. So do you think, just a little minute on that. I'd say two minutes. I've got my stopwatch on. Um, shall we talk about um, how you trim them? While yeah, because doing let that? me show you this. Yeah. They need a trim. They're, they're in granddad brow territory. Oh my god, I know. It's quite embarrassing. Look. Well, I you know, it's fine. We can easily trim them. Have okay. you got um some nail scissors? Right, okay. So the first thing you do is you're gonna actually push the brow down. Okay. Right. You can see how mine like hang down like crazy. So you wanna hold your spoolie in your left hand. Are you right-handed, yeah? Yeah. Hold your spoolie in your left hand. Push them down. Go from the end, Ree. Don't worry about the front bit, sorry. Go to the end. Yeah. Then you're going to almost push it down so that it, the spoolie's holding it in place and you can still see the little hanging ones underneath. Hang on. But take off that tint to start with and then right. so that we don't have to worry about that. That's it. Good. You got it. Yeah, you must have just missed it before. Make yeah. sure it's all off. Perfect. Highlighter looks good. Um... I don't think I've got any on. Oh, your skin looks good. I've got, um, oh, I put Charlotte Tilbury lipstick on my cheeks and blended it. Of course you did. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> lip, lip gloss around your eye. <laughs> I love it. No, that is, looks great. Can you see where I'm holding the spoolie at the top of the brow? Yeah. And I'm pushing that hair down. And you can see them hanging down. You can go up first if you want. It's just better if you go down first. Right, okay, so, right, I'm going to give them... <sighs> A tiny trim. You do not want to trim all the way up to where the shape of the brow is. You're literally just trimming the ends. So trimming is harder than it looks, FYI. Which is why, you know, really just leave it if you if you want to. But I mean, right. don't brush the brow up once you've done that. Right. Right. Now, this is where you've got to be careful because you like to have your brows brushed up, right? Yeah. So you don't want to take it again all the way down to where the actual brow shape is. You just want to trim the end little sections just to tidy them up. Yeah. I think they look good. I take think they look good. Out. Take your hair clips out so your hair's... I think oh, yeah. So I don't... <laughs> No, but you know, you have your hair like you usually would to make sure you're happy with them. You see how it matches your hair colour really well. Oh, yes. I'm really happy. Oh, my God. Thank you, Lisa. No, that looks really good. And now really, I've got really a job good. done that I was literally like, keep thinking oh, I was going to do later, later, later. And I was like, come on. She was like, I was like, can you do it now? She's like, I'm in my pyjamas and a cup of tea. I was like, get dressed. Let's go. But look at you. They look great. Oh, my God. I love it. Thank you. Love you. You're welcome. No, no worries. And then also, like, if you ever want to tweeze, just. I, I just I think that you with your type of brows just leave it you can get away with it yeah but I mean I've got like one say, like literally there but <laughs> never mind about that I, I mean hopefully it'll just fall out on its own <laughs> yeah let's hope for the best yeah um, but if not then I've done my tweezing video so you can go and watch that right yeah I'll link your um is it up your tweezing video not, it will be by the time this is up right okay so I'll, I'll link today. that yeah send me the link okay, to it well, when it's done when it's live I will do thank will you do. my darling all right you are welcome okay, bye bye, bye, -bye. bye, -bye.